So I wanted to make this video because I wish I saw this video before when I was just first getting started with uh, Sweet CRM and it's uh, supposed to be more of a I guess primer that will point you in the right direction if you're just just starting with uh, uh, Sweet CRM. So there is seven points I'd like to cover in this uh, short video intro and uh, the first thing that I'd like to say is that when you're just starting to use Sweet CRM uh, it will not make sense. So that's one thing about Sweet CRM is that you'll hear a lot of people using it. It's open source. It's great, but um, you'll quickly find out that even the most basic things are difficult to do in the beginning, and you just have to be prepared for that. It's not that you're dumb or something like that. It's just that it's going to be hard in the beginning. Just be very, very uh, aware of that fact. You know, so just don't get discouraged. The second thing that's, that's most important, and I wish I had this when I was just starting out, is the list of resources to read. So you're on this page right now, I'll, I'll put the link in the, uh, uh, in the bio, so the admin was kind enough to assemble those things here. Uh, it's just missing one little book that I would add to the list, but um, essentially what you need to start with, the very first thing is the Sweet CRM for Developers Guide, the PDF guide here. Uh, then you'll move on to the Sugar Developer Guide 6.5 PDF. So this is the official guide from years ago uh, for the Sugar CRM 6.5, which is basically like 90%, I guess, the same as Sweet CRM. The big differences, I think, are uh, in terms of the API. There's several things that are different, but 90% of it, uh, it, it's the same, basically. Uh, the next thing that I would suggest is the definitive guide to Sugar CRM. And you'll read this last. Always read this book last because this is the more complex. What you learn here and what you learned here will start making more sense here. So this will be a very unenjoyable read if you start with this. Do not read this first, basically, okay? One thing that I'd like to mention about those books is that this book here, it's a bit tricky. So when you read this book uh, in the beginning, this is one of the workers that actually works for Sales Agility. That's the company in uh, Scotland that uh, currently develops the uh, Sweet CRM. Uh, so this guy, he, it's well written, but it's very light, quick primer. So he's going to basically show you how to work with beans and it's going to be very exciting because, hey, I'm creating my own beans, my own records, I'm putting them in the system, creating relationships, that's great. But like the, uh, the thing that you must remember is that this is a very light guide. So after reading this book, I'm like, okay, well, hey, I'm just going to start developing. Uh, he covers very little in terms of the MVC framework and the more tricky parts like uh, when you're starting to deal with uh, custom views, uh, metadata files the Vardefs, the more complex setup in Vardefs. Basically, okay, so read this book, but keep in mind that this is just like a, a quick primer. So you will definitely wanna read this guide next and also keep it around as a reference. And what I do is I have my stuff written in uh, Google Docs where I keep my like most important notes. So you'll definitely wanna start with this. The other things as well is obviously you're going to go on Stack Overflow and uh, also the, the Sweet CRM forum. And uh, also there's the Sugar CRM forum that is uh, very light in terms of the, 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 the community edition. So 6.5 is also known as the community edition. Uh, not much discussions about that there, but there are still some archives and you can still maybe get lucky and get your question answered there uh, also. So that's the second point. The third point that I want you to, to keep in mind is that you'll only start understanding the system once you start cutting your teeth on more complicated setups. So the thing that worked for me is the, um, anyways, I'm not gonna get into it, you're just starting out, but there was a complicated setup in terms of how you can connect records. And after breaking my head for like two weeks, I would say, uh, things started to click at that point. So roll up your sleeves and be prepared to, to deal with these more complex setups. And uh, everything is going to take a lot of time in the beginning, uh, but once you work through that, like first initial complicated setup, things will start making more sense. Another thing is that, is that I hear all the time people saying, avoid, uh, I mean, avoid using custom built modules. And I'm actually of the complete opposite opinion, use custom built modules. So you're going to have modules like uh, opportunities, accounts, um, like modules like that. And then they say like, take a module like that and adapt it to your own needs. 
and by all means do that if your setup is uh, very similar to the one that you get when you first download Sweet CRM. So if it's Sweet CRM is like basically almost the same CRM that you're going to be delivering to your client and to yourself, then fine, use the built-in modules. But if you're making something that's a bit more complex, I suggest building your own modules. And the main reason for that is that the legacy modules, I guess the built-in modules, they're built in starting with like version whatever, version one, two, three, four, right? And a lot of them have this custom legacy code uh, implementations. So like not to overburden you with details, but basically when you're, uh, when you're going to be coding it, you'll see that, okay, why is this like that for these built-in modules in terms of the, like even relationship names, for example. Uh, and why is it not like that for uh, newer modules? So newer modules, I mean newer modules, for custom modules. So custom modules is something that obviously didn't come with the, uh, when Sweet CRM was initially built. And as time went by, they, they started making it, uh, so it makes more sense, I would say personally. So, um, you know what, take, it, take it, this advice like that. So use them if you want to and do not use them if you don't want to. But to say definitely avoid building, uh, uh, avoid building your own custom modules, uh, I'm of a complete opposite opinion, you know? So uh, let's, say it, let's say it like that. But personally, I prefer just building my own custom modules. So that's the way I do it. And that's actually the, the next point is uh, being beware of legacy setups. So not all modules are made the same. A lot of the modules are going to be, um, how do you say it? They're going to be, uh, they're going to have custom code in them. So a lot of the building in Sweet CRM is you're going to be looking at how it's currently done in the system and you're going to be replicating the way that it's done. So you're going to be copying the existing uh, uh, setups and you need to be like, beware that code is not always going to make sense and the reason for that is that there is some code that uses legacy setup. So I hope that uh, doesn't like confuse you too much, but just be aware of that. So there's some code that doesn't make sense simply because it was built long, long, like 10 years ago or something. And uh, uh, that's why it looks different to the code that you see in the latest release, right? So the next advice is reading the forums and stack overflow that, that goes with the, like, I guess the initial uh, resources, uh, I mean the initial, uh, um, the second point. So I suggest Stack Overflow and forums. Why? Because uh, there is a bit of um, um, incentive for people to post there. So there's going to be like service providers on, on certain forums that th they want to post, they want to get their name out, so they'll be eager to help you. So uh, get social and start asking questions because a lot of times you will get very detailed uh, amazing replies on the community is also very helpful. Um, also, like the Stack Overflow is the same thing. Some people, they want to bring up their post count, I mean their points. So you'll get some very good, uh, some very good replies there uh, as well. I'd like to just like finish up this first part of the, uh, of, of this video. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. So when things start working, the system is a lot of fun to use. So that's one thing that I'd like to say is in the beginning, I said it's very complicated, but once you understand the way that the system works, it's really a lot of fun. Like you'll see that uh, it, it actually doesn't make sense to build your own like custom built module because I, I had this idea in my head. I'm like, man, it's so complicated. I'm just gonna build this myself, you know? But once it starts actually making sense, it's really cool to use, you know, like you're adding fields, it takes you two seconds, you're creating database tables like relationships in like two seconds flat, you're adding these uh, form validations, et cetera, et cetera, you're doing all these uh, cool setups and it's taking you like no time at all, you know? So I'd like just to show this quote because it goes perfectly with what I'm saying is by Abraham Lincoln. He said that uh, Abe Lincoln is, if I had six hours to, jump, uh, to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. So that's what you'll be doing with Sweet CRM. You'll be spending a lot of time learning in the beginning, just sharpening your skills with Sweet CRM. But when it comes time to actually cut down the tree, uh, you'll do it in no time at all. And uh, Sweet CRM is a, a growing community. There's government agencies using it for their own uh, internal CRM needs. Um, 
So the skills that you're picking up, they can be very useful down the road. This, this could be rather become uh, even a, a career opportunity. And uh, I'm telling you, like, once you get into it, it's going to be a really, really cool, fun tool to work with. So I hope you found it helpful, this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, you can see that uh, I've made a bunch of these in the past and I'll be making more of them in the future. So please subscribe and leave a like if you found this helpful and I hope you have a, an excellent day. Thank you.